Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm going to show you Employee Center Standard versus Employee Center Pro. What's the difference? Why should you be interested in a professional version or the out of the box version of Employee Service Center? So behind me, I have the standard version up to start with. And you can see if you've seen the old portals for ServiceNow, this is definitely an improvement. We'll start at the top left hand side and i'll point out that everything that you're going to see can be branded the colors changed so this is just the out of the box service now logo and what they want you to see when you're first seeing the portal out of the box no configuration done to it now notice along the top menu there we do have the ability to add other things on the top now some of this is actually showing some pro features that i can see i'll call those out right here community and org chart are part of the pro package so i won't click on those in this part of the video and there's things that you can see here like hr the workplace service delivery the per procurement application um, the legal service delivery application risk and compliance they'll show up in standard or pro if you have those licenses for those applications in service now otherwise they're not going to show up there um, typically, you usually just have the IT stuff, right? So down below, we've got a search box. That's always part of the standard version, and that includes the AI search or artificial intelligence search. So you're not losing any of that capabilities. This little widget in the middle, the recommended for you, I'm going to double check my notes over here, but I'm pretty certain that that is not a standard feature. Correct. So these are machine, learn, machine learning driven recommendations. So these would not show up on a standard implementation you wouldn't see these you would see your active items your different tasks that you might have to do to complete and this would show up for your end users right now now this is again showing some stuff that's related to grc uh, risk and compliance shipments are related to procurement uh, invoices related to procurement journeys related to hr so again it's consolidating different things from different apps so you won't see some of those if you're not licensed or have those apps configured in your instance popular topics there in the middle that is part of the curated experience um, and it is included the uh, assessments and surveys the quick links down here on the bottom all that standard and both the portals standard and pro come with a header and a footer and you're seeing the footer down there now what is actually behind my head is the virtual agent or the chat feature so if you're on standard ITSM or standard HR, you're going to get like virtual agent light. So it'll have like a handful of conversations that can be configured. I mean, it may be two or three. And I think it's kind of to give you a taste of here's some stuff that you might want to start doing. And then if you have ITSM professional enterprise or HR professional or enterprise, then you get all of the virtual agent conversations um, and all the ability to make your own virtual agent conversations. So that's irregardless of its employee center standard or employee center pro. So virtual agent is kind of licensed separately there. So that is the standard version with a couple of things that are not standard on there now i'm going to flip over to what we demo when we show the professional version of employee center and you're going to see it looks a little different um and i actually just realized i missed something but here in the center this is actually a part of standard um this can show up it's a part of the curated experience what wouldn't show up here is if you had like some hr type things of hey maternity leave welcome back or stuff like that that wouldn't show up here but we can have check the service status um, on this particular banner. This is just a widget at the top. Uh, we talked about this one in the middle, this recommended for you, that is part of the professional one. But I wanna get down to these things towards the bottom. Videos is curated. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah, so this piece right here, my application, if I click on all, this is the SSO app launcher that comes with the professional version of Employee Center. So these applications, now in my demo environment, this is completely faked out. These aren't gonna launch Concur, ADP, Coupa, or Fidelity. But if you had these configured in something like Azure AD, a single sign-on applications, we can connect ServiceNow to Azure AD and it'll automatically populate this based on whether that user has access or not. So the user, maybe they're not a person that has access to Concur or Coupa, right? So they wouldn't see that, it wouldn't even show up here, but if they did have access in SSO, it would show up here and they could grab or they could click on that and launch into those applications from right here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you up at the top here, 
the profile, the employee profile, this is standard for both Employee Center Standard and Employee Center Pro. So you can see I've got my name there, my department information, like my title. This is all stuff that's on the HR, or not the HR, the ServiceNow user table. Um, any delegates, if you've added any delegates. What is professional only is the org chart right here. So you cannot see this if you don't have Employee Center Professional. That is not even gonna show up. And for me, Justin Meadows, I'm the only person in the org chart because it's a demo environment. If I were logged in, it would have a little tree structure and stuff like that. So org chart is something that is for the professional employee center only. Last one I'm gonna show you here is the community. So this community link is for your employee forums. You might see that reference in the documentation. So with the employee forums, okay, actually event is one of them. So if I go back here to the homepage, it was actually showing up in the Employee Center Pro and I, I kind of glossed over it. But see this upcoming events over here on the right hand side? That's part of that employee events uh, and forums piece or this community piece. Now community is just a repurposing of the ServiceNow Communities plugin, and but it's for employees only. So you things like events, ask a question, there's a leaderboard or a gamification for that. All the forums, all the topics, notifications, subscriptions, some how-to stuff on earning points your community profile, which can be different from your employee profile, bookmarks and terms and conditions for actually engaging in and using the employee uh, and using the employee forums of the community. If you want to learn more about that one, I'm going to do another video where I show all of these features for the community. But just know that if you have Employee Center Pro, I mean Employee Center Standard, these two menu items aren't going to show up and community is one of those. So if you're interested in a community, definitely keep an eye out for that video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you th think is interested in knowing the difference between Employee Center Standard or Employee Center Out of the Box versus Employee Center Pro or Employee Center Professional. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.